In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the new SoStock Command Center, which you will find here as the new landing page for SoStock. Uh, don't worry, you still have access to all of your other pages. Uh, our landing page used to be the inventory page like this, but we decided to make a new command center, which is kind of like a notification center for the key areas in your business that you need to put attention on. It might change a little bit over time, but this is the initial look of the command center as of today. So basically when you land here, the whole point of this is you've got multiple different widgets that are pointing you to key areas of your business that you want to focus on. Um, right up here is the link to this tutorial that you're watching now. And then of course, each one of these has its own individual tutorial. Uh, you can find each individual tutorial by clicking the little question mark icon inside of each widget. Uh, let me explain how this works before we get into each one of what each one of these means. So basically what you're doing is up here you can choose a date range, whether that be the next 30 days, which is what we have it set for now, the next seven days, you've got some options here, or you can choose a specific date range by using uh, the drag and drop feature such as that. Okay. Uh, for right now, I'll just leave it on the next 30 days. So all of these are going to be looking at the next 30 days as it relates to each one of these individual subject matters. So the first one is stocking out. And again, the full tutorial is here, but let me just show you how this works. So this is five units that are going to stock out. You can also click this little one here and change that to number of products instead of number of units. So these all kind of default to number of units, but you can change it to number of products. So if you don't want to see how many units you're going to stock out on, but how many products am I going to stock out on? And then what you're going to do is simply click this button here, avoid stock outs, and that will open up a pre-filtered page uh, in another tab. In this case, what this is doing is it's pulling up three different filters. The first one is active products, obviously, and uh, potential stock out is greater than zero days, and next stock out is within the next 30 days. So you can see that this 30 day range here corresponds with the date range that we've pulled up here. This is a really quick and easy way to point out, heads up, there's some products that you might be stocking out on. Watch the full tutorial in terms of how to use this pre-filtered stock out risk report. I'm not gonna get into all of it here, just kind of showing you how the tool, the, the command center works. The next one right now is inventory, uh, order inventory. And this just links you to your forecast page, pre-filtered for the next 30 days. What products do I need to order? in the next 30 days grouped by suppliers. As you can see here, all active products within the next 30 days. Now, one thing I do wanna mention about this page is when you come to this page, let's say you had this one set to you know, the next year or something like that. I wanna be clear about this. This is not going to, if I put 365 days here, that's what that would do. That's not going to tell me, these are all the orders I need to place for the next year. This is filtering for the next order within the next 365 days, very important. So let's say this product here, for example, if I open up this forecast, it's showing me the next order that I need to place for this product within the next 365 days, not every single order on my inventory timeline for the next 365 days. That would be a bit ridiculous. We're not gonna tell you to place all your inventory orders for the next year now. This would just be looking at the next order or in this case over here, the next transfers within that period. Just wanna be clear about that. The next one over here is transfer inventory. Same thing that takes you to your transfer page. The overstock fees is gonna take you to your overstock fees report. And again, each one of these has its own individual tutorial. So I'm not going to spend too much time on each one of these. And, and you know, this might change order a little bit here and there. We might add additional widgets. Just wanna show you how this page works. Uh, any, any one of these widgets that has three dots means that you can change the display. In this case, you can change it from how many products am I going to be paying fees to how much am I going to be spending in fees. Now, we don't have any overstock fees, so it's displaying zero. Uh, this one down here is under 30 days worth of FBA supply. This just links you to an inventory page pre-filtered to find products with low supply. No velocity on forecast. Again, there's a tutorial here. This one's pretty cool. Um, basically, this is going to link you to a page on the forecast that is pre-filtered for any products where it's basically zero, and when there's zero velocity, we can't produce a forecast. So those could be problematic, and the tutorial shows you how to fix that. 
um, FBA shipments to reconcile. So no longer do you have to go to your order page here to find those FBA shipments. You can just click right here and start reconciling them from your, your main dashboard, your command center. PO is ready to ship. <clears throat> this is a good report that you can use to follow up on uh, any POs that are about ready to leave production and you want to go contact your supplier and basically say, hey, are you on track for these shipments that you're supposed to be shipping in the next 30 days? And same thing goes with uh, shipments that are arriving into my warehouse within the next 30 days. Okay, great. So that's basically how this works. Like I said, this is the first iteration of it, so it might change a little bit. If you have any questions at all, you can always contact us at helpme at sostock.com.